This is a follow-up video to my Chinese chainsaw fraud video. and I'm going to make some corrections. I was wrong about a number of things. And I want to explain uh, what's going on with these saws based upon further discovery. I encourage all of you to join a Facebook group called Chinese Chainsaw Clawed <coughs> Chinese Chainsaw Clone Forum. That's on Facebook, and the link will be in uh, underneath this video. First of all, there are 52 cc saws. They're 44.9 bore and 32 millimeter stroke. There, then the next model up, which is in there are parts for these. They're 58s. Now you have a bore that's 45.2 and a 34 millimeter stroke. You, so you have a 0.3 millimeter larger bore and a two millimeter larger stroke. Not hardly enough to measure through a spark plug. You about have to take the, the it apart and have uh, good tools to be able to measure that small. 0.3 millimeter or even two millimeters, pretty tough to measure. And then you have a third, the model 6200. 62 cc. Now you have a bore that's 48 millimeters, and that will give you 3.2 or 3.1 millimeter larger than the regular 52. Your stroke is also 4 millimeter, meaning two larger than the 52. Again, you're, you're only looking two or three millimeters bigger than a than a 52 cc saw. So it's not much. And parts do exist. You can find these parts on eBay uh, for this size of saws. But the, the fraud is still there. Uh, here's, a, here's an ad from eBay. I don't think you'll be close enough to be able to, to read it, but what it says, it's a 2.5 to 3.6 horsepower gas-powered chainsaw. And it gives you choices all the way down to 58 and 52 cc saws. And I broke this down on, on what it looks like. Let me see if I can get that. So you can see what, the, what their ad says. And uh, they show 52 cc saws from 2.7 to 3.6 horsepower. It just doesn't make any sense. I've seen 52 cc saws advertised as 4 horsepower on eBay. Then they have 58 cc, which are 2.5, 2.7, 3, and 3.4 horsepower. How they get these differences, I'll have no idea. I have a 52 and a 62, and I can find no difference between those two saws with respect to power. There just isn't any difference there. Now there may be some torque difference. Some say some will say that there is torque difference. I've dealt with a number of people who, who rebuild these. They say they're all 52 cc. That's what I thought before. Now on the forum we have some experts, and they tell me that um, that there are differences and and give different sizes. So I, I think that what we need to look at when you're looking at buying one of these, and I encourage everybody to buy one. They're darn good saws. The motors are fantastic. But when a motor wears out, I certainly wouldn't be shopping for a piston to replace. I would just buy a new saw because the prices are so cheap. If you buy the $80 saws and you can find a lot of them, expect some of the parts to go bad. The oil pump will go bad, maybe the clutch, certainly the uh, pull start. I would like the easy start because I recently had a, a bad injury and the easy starts are fantastic. All the parts interchange but for the top and the top covers and the air filter. So so what what if they're all the same carb, how are you going to really get anything better uh, by getting the larger CC? Well I, th I think you do get some improvements by getting a bigger CC maybe in torque but most certainly in an air filter. And here's a difference that you can look at to find, discover whether you're getting a 52 or a 58 or 62. Because the 58 and 62s have bigger air filters. So what I'm going to show you is the top cover. And uh, here are the top covers. The one on the left is a 52cc, at least advertised. I, I'm sure it's 52. The one on the right was advertised as a 62cc. So take a look at that air filter. That's a 62. And that air filter is a 52. Markedly smaller. Just about half the size of the 62. And if I were buying again, I would be looking at the top cover. You have a longer, thinner cover, not as tall on the 52 shorter, taller on the 62, and most definitely look at that air filter. That is the air filter you want. So the, um, while I can't say you're going to get any extra power out of the 62 because they have the same carburetor, I can say you have a bigger air filter, which 
should give you some extra advantage over the small one plus it doesn't get dirty as fast all in all go for the one with the big air filter that's the best advice I can give you go for the ones that are a little higher price the Couture this is a Couture and uh, I really like the Couture they they seem to uh, work very well and I didn't have hardly any parts go bad whereas I bought this other one that was only eighty dollars and um, I think I replaced practically everything the starter quit the oil pump quit the coil ignition coil went bad um, and they often have parts that need to be tightened. All of them have parts that need to be tightened. When you, when you work on these for the first time, go in and tighten the bolts on the uh, carburetor. Uh, that's number one. So those are my corrections. Um, certainly there's fraud still going on. There's always going to be fraud. Uh, try to get the better machine by looking for a larger air filter. That'll give you a little advantage if you ever want to upgrade your carburetor some way. Uh, to get a little extra power. Uh, more air is a good thing. Good luck and uh, like and subscribe. Thank you.